new videos every day. This is the first video in a series about propaganda and mind control. This is a subject which for the most part is wildly misunderstood. In fact, we are bombarded by propaganda constantly. If you turn on your TV, you will be exposed to propaganda. If you read the newspaper, you will be exposed to propaganda. Pay attention to the billboards on the highway. They expose you to propaganda. Your boss at work exposes you to propaganda. If you watch YouTube videos, they expose you to propaganda. If you talk to someone about religion, politics, economics, or even philosophy, you're exposed to propaganda. People are exposed to propaganda constantly, and often they're not even aware of it. Sometimes that's a bad thing, and believe it or not, sometimes that's a good thing. But what we want to do in this video series is make you aware of what propaganda is, how it is used, and then give you the ability to be able to recognize it and then decide for yourself whether or not you want to allow it to influence you or not. Propaganda comes from the word propagate. And propagate means to multiply and spread. So if you have two rabbits and they propagate, then you have rabbits everywhere. Or Buddhism started in India, then propagated across the entirety of Asia. Or McDonald's started as one restaurant, then propagated across the entire world. So when we're talking about propaganda, we're talking about the propagation of ideas. So ideas multiplying and spreading out. The word propaganda was first used by the Catholic Church. In 1718, Pope Gregory the Fifteenth formed Congregatio di Propagande Fide, which means the Congregation for Spreading the Faith. This was the part of the Catholic Church responsible for spreading Catholicism across the world. So they would send out missionaries across the world to spread Catholic views and ideas. Nowadays, when people hear the word propaganda, they automatically think it's a bad thing or that it's lies. But the word originally wasn't thought of as being bad or negative. In fact, it was common prior to World War II for countries to have departments of propaganda in their governments. Nowadays, these departments still exist, but they're now called departments of information or departments of public relations. In some countries, the word propaganda is still not thought of negatively. In Portuguese and some Spanish-speaking countries, the word propaganda usually refers to the most common form of persuasive media, advertising. So if you see a commercial on TV for Coca-Cola, they would call the commercial propaganda. So the purpose of propaganda is to persuade or influence people. So in that respect, we could call propaganda a type of mind control. But this type of mind control exists at a conscious level. It doesn't appeal to the unconscious mind. It's at a cognitive or conscious level. So I'm going to give you some definitions of propaganda from some dictionaries. And then we're going to simplify it and give you the definition from Psyche Truth. Here's the first definition. One, information ideas or rumors deliberately spread widely to help or harm a person, group, movement, institution, nation, etc. So it says ideas deliberately spread to help or harm a group. So this group could be government and it could be Chinese spreading anti-American propaganda or it could be a corporation, McDonald's starting a health awareness campaign so that people stop thinking that McDonald's is unhealthy. Or it could be a group of atheists that point out crimes against humanity committed by religions in the past so that it ruins the public opinion of religion. The next one is official government communications to the public that are designed to influence opinion. 
the information may be true or false, but it is always carefully selected for its political effect. So notice how it says true or false. So propaganda doesn't always have to be a lie. The third definition is materials disseminated by the advocates or opponents of a doctrine or cause. So it's materials, books, pamphlets, articles, and it's disseminated. And dissemination means the same thing as propagate. It means to spread. So it's also done by people who either support or oppose a cause or belief system. Okay, so here is the psyche truth definition. Propaganda is the spreading of beliefs. Now this is really important because when you're talking about propaganda, you are always and only talking about spreading ideas. You're not talking about spreading peanut butter. You're not talking about spreading love. You're not talking about spreading money. When you're talking about propaganda, you are always and only talking about spreading ideas. Now those ideas could be anything from coffee is good for you because it has antioxidants in it, or communism is the best political slash economic system of government, or George Bush is an asshole, or Jesus Christ died for our sins. But we're talking about propaganda as the spreading of beliefs because if people don't believe the information being spread, then it won't influence them. So again, this is really important because the only power that propaganda has is the belief behind the idea. In Nazi Germany, the Nazi party spread anti-Semitic propaganda, meaning they spread the idea that Jews were bad and that they were life unworthy of living. And did any German believe this? Of course. But what if no one believed the propaganda? There would be no Holocaust. So the power of propaganda is belief. It doesn't matter if the idea is true or not. It only matters if people believe it. So now we get into propaganda and truth. And what is the relationship between propaganda and truth? Well, that's what we're going to go over in the next video. And in another video, we'll be talking about advertising and propaganda. Is advertisement just another form of propaganda? Thanks for watching, rate my video, and I'll see you soon. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos, ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, Go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.